random urge to film what I eat in a day just for today. So this is probably going to be a very, very short video. But welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you what I eat today. Legit, like, I, if I don't stick to the plan, you're going to see it. If I pick something that I shouldn't, you're going to see it. This is literally just today is whatever the fuck today is. Today is. Start my meals today. I've already had my hot chocolate. Um, this is egg whites and egg and turkey mince. So this is what I'll have for breakfast around 8.30. Then I shall have some of my slices of apple with my overnight wheat bix. So this is Biscoff overnight wheat bix. And my God, I've been not loving, like I wouldn't say I've been loving it, but like it has been hitting the spot on certain days. I actually made that to eat yesterday and I didn't even want it. So I was like, all right, let's give her a go today. So intentions of eating what I've just set out for today. We've also been loving Gatorade No Sugar. Grape flavor is the best. Don't test me. So in the last clip, you would have seen that I had two pieces of peanut butter on bread. No, that was not a part of my plan. However, you would have seen, I still tracked it, weighed it and all of the things. Now it is currently 10 past one and I am about to make my lunch. So I am going to pop, pop. I'm gonna pop on some cauliflower, got a carrot and I'm gonna do some pumpkin, no corn. And then I've got chicken breast. So that was what I planned for myself. Oh, hang on a second. Hello, no, that's not what I've planned. Minus the carrot, and I'm gonna have some potatoes instead. No carrot, and we're having potatoes. So I actually have stuff to the plan today besides the, those two pieces of bread. Now, I did have some apple, however, I've still got some left, and I can guarantee I'll probably finish this today. However, I also had half and not even half of my Biscoff stuff. So I'm really trying to like, look, I'm not limiting what I'm having, but I'm like, if I want to have a little bit and then leave it, that's sort of what I'm trying to do at the moment. Like I'm not trying to like fully intuitively eat, but I'm also trying to be like, if I want to have a little bit of this, I can, but if I don't feel like eating and finishing the whole thing just because I've tracked it, I don't need to finish it. So I don't know. I've been doing a little bit of that. And like, even with my dinner, sometimes like, I don't know. It's so hard. I've been tracking for so long that it's like, I'm allowed to have this amount of food. So I'm going to finish every single bit of food. And it's so hard upregulating post-show. Like you literally, you don't know where your hunger levels are at. You don't know. Like sometimes it is hard, like knowing what you feel like. So I don't know. I'm just trying to find that balance of like, I'm allowing myself to be flexible, but I'm also like, I need to still have fruit. I need to still have vegetables and I still need to have like nutritious things that make me feel full instead of like having 10 pieces of fucking peanut butter toast and being like, I'm starving because that actually didn't fill me up opposed to like, I'm having my veggies. So I don't know, just being honest, like it's, it, it is quite hard, but this last week it's like, I actually start to feel like myself and I'm around food. It's like starting to realize and notice and just not eating every single mouthful if I don't feel the need to, because I am starting to feel somewhat full after meals or like, okay, I have like three chips left. You don't need to squeeze them in. So yeah. So cauliflower, we've got, I've put 153 grams. So we'll see how close we can get to that. 130. I really can't be asked to cut up anymore. So 130 it is. See, and even things like this, it's like I've tracked like 150 grams of cauliflower, but I've just put in 130 grams. So it's like, okay, cool. Let's just start, start with 130 grams. And if I'm hungry after, I can have some more. Or if I really need to cut up some more, like I will, but like, you know. Same with like the chicken. It's like, all right, I've cut up 130 grams instead of 120. Let's have 130 grams and adjust it. So 
that's that's sort of where I'm like sometimes I'm eating more carbs sometimes I'm eating less carbs like I am sort of trying to start to eyeball things but still weigh it and just change it if I need to because that's how I've been finding that I'm actually full at dinner just making those little adjustments it's like okay I actually didn't need the extra 10 grams of potato if that makes sense but yeah just adjusting those little things that aren't like major major details now that I'm not in prep potato so I've just oiled up my chippies, some seasoning on them, and now I'm going to chuck them in the air fryer 180 degrees for about 14 minutes. I'm gonna do my chicken, you know, put that on here. Let's see how much chicken we're gonna have today. Ooh, 123. Perfection. I haven't really made the effort to reduce my protein intake, and this might sound funny to some people, or like if you do struggle to hit your protein, I definitely don't. That is not a problem that I have. I hit my protein, and I actually go over my protein quite a bit, and I don't actually eat or drink protein powder. I don't own protein powder. I get all my protein through sources of meat, eggs, chicken, like whatever. Like I don't actually have protein powder as a source of protein in my nutrition plan, so I don't know, I just, I fucking love protein, what can I say? I just had an idea, which this is, this is what happens, like this is just what's been happening, okay? So I want sweet chili chicken now, like not just normal chicken, so I'm just going to put a little bit of flour in a bowl so I can coat the chicken and then I'm going to add some light sweet chili sauce when I cook it. This has been a game changer. This, the calories in this are just, there's nothing. There's nothing. I haven't really looked at what else is in it, but there is not many carbs in here, which is awesome. Compared to the other sweet chili sauce that I've been using, hot damn, like, girl, that's where people, like, can pile on some weight, is you don't even know how many calories are in sauce. But this one, you can get it from Coles, and I tell you what, it's been, it's been great. It's been so good. See, look at that. 35 grams of that sauce is not even one gram of carbs. I just thought I'd mention, I'm still taking all my normal supplements as well. So I am having my multivitamins as soon as I wake up and then I'll have my little zinc tablet when I have my breakfast. I'll generally have half a tablet or a whole tablet of these with like lunch or just like if I just want something other than water during the day just to keep hydrated. Um, and then I'll also have my magnesium when I have my dinner. I'll have my creatine as soon as I wake up. And I do have glutamine as well. However, this ran out during the week, so I just haven't been bothered to go and buy one or order another one. So I haven't been taking this for like the last maybe four days, but it's out. So I remember to go and buy some or <laughs> when I get paid, I'll order another one. But most recently, I've actually been adding in some iron tablets and look to be honest there was no reason for it i just saw that they were on sale at the shop and i was just like it can't hurt to take some iron so i haven't really have been having as much like red meat i guess um but yeah i just have been taking some iron as well This is another thing I'm talking about, right? In prep, you don't forget about food. I just forgot about food. I just had a couple of bite, bites out of my meal and I'm like, girl, you got shit in the air fryer. So unfortunately, I didn't finish my food prior to realizing that I have stuff in the air fryer, but that would have been a perfect example of, I literally had, you know, just my nice little veggies and my chicken done. Did I need the chips? This is the sort of stuff that like I'm starting to play with a little bit. It's like, let's just have this, see if you're still hungry and then go and eat this. Whereas like now it's like, no, now I know I've got chips and I fucking love chips. So that's what we're having. Chicken salt on my chippies. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, oof, look at those. See, now that's complete. Folks, there we have it. I finished all my chippies. Um, but I actually left some pumpkin and some cauliflower. Not a lot, but this is the stuff like in prep, you finish that. Right now, I'm like, I really don't feel the need 
to finish it. So I didn't, I just left it there. Like I could finish it if I wanted to, but I know that I'm feeling full. So I'm like, let's not overdo it. And I've been trying to eat slowly. So it's like giving my body the time and like my stomach to catch up with like eating and then being like, okay, let's put our knife and fork down for a couple of minutes. Let's continue to eat because post-show, like you really don't know when you're full. And sometimes like you eat quickly because you're like, oh my God, I get all this food, shove it down. And then it's like, once you've finished it, you feel full. And then it's past that point of being like, oh my God, like I actually feel really full and bloated and disgusting. So like just trying to implement those little tiny habits as well, even though my food is increasing, it's like, let's just eat slowly. And if I don't feel the need to finish it, I don't need to finish it because I don't want to push past that point of like, I'm satisfied to then being like, holy shit, I actually feel uncomfortable. I'm about to go and try on my wedding dress, so I thought it's a perfect time to eat two Biscoff cookies that aren't on plan. <laughs> we officially ordered my wedding dress. Oh my God. So I just got home and I am not gonna cook dinner just yet, but I still, I need a little bit of a snack. So it is 20 to six. She's gonna eat the last three bickies, okay? She is, she's gonna eat the last three bickies. I haven't finished my apple today. I didn't eat my Biscoff little thingy, my Bobby. So look, she's eating the bickies and then I'm gonna go and have a shower and then I'm gonna cook my dinner and I'm gonna have nachos and I'll show you how I'm gonna make it. Time to get this party started. I've cut up my pumpkin. I've just weighed out my corn. I've got my little beef mints ready to rock. And then I've just cut up a whole heap of wrap. So that'll go in the air fryer. Then once all of that's pretty much ready, I'll get out the cheese, the sour cream, and the sauce, whack her on, chuck her in the oven, and good to go. So this is gonna be delish. And I'll also season the mints with barbecue sauce and some taco seasoning. in the cooking and to be honest I literally just felt like a bit of toast so. mm, mm, mm. oh my god let's consume this fucking bad boy what do you want your dinner come on I'm gonna take you outside it's bedtime so you know what that means. So overall today, I have 46 calories remaining. However, I've gone over my protein by 11 grams. I still have 44 grams of carbs and I have hit my fat goal. So I have one gram over my fat. So overall today, to be honest, that's pretty, that's pretty bloody good. All I'm gonna do now, just enjoy my ice cream and go to bed. So thank you for tuning into this video. I don't know how long it's gonna be, so thank you if it's a long one or thank you if it's a short one, I guess. But if you're still here, thank you. I really appreciate you watching and following along my journey and just literally everything that I'm doing because that's all I'm filming at the moment. If you did like this video, guys, please don't forget to like and share, comment down below, turn on post notifications, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to be bright, be bold, be you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my god.